Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and in today's tutorial I'm gonna be showing you how to make these beautiful peacock seed beads earrings. They are easy to make and I'm showing step by step so I'm sure by the end of this tutorial you're gonna be able to make them by yourself. If you want, you could skip this intro and go directly to the work because now I have timestamps on my videos. But if you want, you could stay just a little bit because I want to thank to all of you that comment, share and make beautiful designs following my tutorials and share them on my Facebook or Instagram pages posted below. And I want to thank to all of you that gave me the idea of this peacock earrings. Two beautiful ladies gave me this idea. One of them was Sue that is always commenting so nicely and so thoughtfully and she said that when I make uh, this large blossom earrings that they remind of a peacock tail. And one of my supporters on PayPal Candice Murphy said that she wants me to make peacock tail earrings and that is why with the help of these beautiful uh, ladies this project is here and it's done for everybody to try it. Thank you all of you that you helped me. I want to mention also Diana Williams, Magda Matesiu that helped me in PayPal with some donations and to all of you that comment and share your contents. I never forget you and I always share your work on the community tab on YouTube. So now I'm going to start with the list of the material. Okay guys, so what I'm using here for this video are seven colors of 11 o seed beads or you could use 10 o seed beads if you want. These are earring findings in copper color. You could use other color of your choice. This is monofilament that is 0 0.006 inches or 0 0.15 millimeters. You could use fireline or wildfire, but don't use soft nylon thread for this project. Here I use size 10 beading needle. It works with size 11 or 12 as well. And these are scissors. Okay, and now I'm going to take about an arm span of thread on my needle and I'll be back. Okay, guys, and I'm back. And what I'm going to pick up here are 20 dark red beads. First, I'm starting with the dark red color. Okay, I'll pick them up and I'll be back. Okay, and I'm back five times four. It's 20 beads in total. And I'm sliding those down. It's always good to double check because sometimes when you pick your beads, you could make a mistake. And now, guys, what I want to do is make a knot here. And how I'm making my knot, I'm making here a loop. Then I pull. And now what I want to do is one more knot here, just to be sure it's all tight and secure. And when I make it, I make sure I'm between those two beads where I started the knot from and I pull again. Okay. And now I have this beautiful circle of beads, guys. And now what I'm going to do is go in this direction through several beads and pull. And now I'm going to start the following thing. I take two light red beads and I go here through these two dark red beads back in circle and what I do is that I form a loop of beads here you see now I have this and in my next step I'm going through one of those red beads and what I want to take are two orange beads okay two orange beads and I go back through this red bead. This, these are dark orange beads and I also have a light orange beads. Light orange beads, okay? Now I'm going back this way, you see? This way. And if you don't know how this stitch is called, it's called herringbone stitch, okay? You don't need to know the name to make it, okay? Now I take two light orange beads 
and I'm going back like this. Okay. Then what I do is that I go one more time like this. If you want to make it nice and tight. Then I'm flipping my work. I'm going like this. It's not obligatory to flip your work, but sometimes it's easier for me to flip it. Okay, you see now go through here. And then what I do is flip again. Okay. It's just more comfortable for me to work this way. Okay, now I go through the next two dark red beads and I'm going to repeat the whole process. I'm taking two red beads just like this. Go back here through these two dark red beads just like this. Then go through one of the reds just like this. Take two dark orange beads. Go back through the light orange through the, the uh, light red, sorry. And then back through these two, the red and the dark orange. The light red and the dark orange. If you're familiar with the herringbone, this is what we do. If not, just follow the steps and everything will be okay. Okay, now I have two. These are a light orange. On camera, they might look like yellow but in fact they are light orange beads and I'm adding them here like this okay and uh, you could do additional reinforcement through all of those beads but it's not obligatory you could just go here like this through these two dark red beads and through the following two this is done to, to save time because now when I go through the following two I'm in a position to start my next herringbone, okay? And I'm doing it the same way, red, orange, light orange. Okay, I think you got the idea. If you forgot how I'm doing it, just rewind and repeat uh, this step until the end. I'll do this off camera and I'll be back to tell you how to finish this roll. Okay, guys, and I'm here at my last element that I need to do with the herringbone stitch and if you work correctly up until now you have nine of those herringbone rows and you should do the tenth one here uh, because you started with 20 beads and you attach one of those herringbone elements to every two beads that is why uh, you have 10 elements sorry somewhere here is my knot that is why it's more difficult to do this. Okay, now I attach the red beads here. Then I will go through the first red. Again, I'll repeat what I showed you before. I'm taking two dark orange beads. Then I go back. and I take two light orange beads and I go back like this okay what I do is that I want to go back here through all of those beads in this direction okay then as I'm exiting through this light orange I will go through the next light orange in this direction now I'm going to take two chameleon beads or whatever your dark color is and I go here. I prefer chameleon and changing light beads because it's a peacock, you know peacock earrings. Okay, now I go here. I take two and I go in the next beads. 
Now I should tell you that it's easier for me to flip it and go in this direction. But if it's easier for you, go in the other direction. Uh, it doesn't matter that much. I'm just right-handed. That is why it's easier. A lot of you that are left-handed are really a lot of creative people and maybe it will be easier for you to go in the other direction okay and i will finish this row and i'll be back okay and here i am where i'm adding my last two chameleon beads from this row and what i want to do next guys is take a yellow two white beads then five yellows okay five yellows you see then again i'm taking a white then again five yellows okay five yellows again two whites and one yellow okay so i pick up this first part and then repeat it backwards okay yellow two whites five yellows one white five yellows two whites and one yellow okay you could pause this video and pick them up okay now what i do as i'm exiting through one of these light orange beads is to go through the other light orange with this sequence picked up and don't worry that it uh, flips this way we'll fix it later okay now what I do is that I want to exit in my next light orange beads and I want to pick up the same sequence okay I'll pick it up off camera and I'll be back okay and let me remind you what the sequence is one yellow two whites five yellows one white five yellows two whites and one yellow okay and I will slide it down you see it written on your screen and I'm also saying it slowly so you will be able to take it. Okay, now as I go through this orange, if you, I want to save time, I will go also through these two dark beads and through the following light orange. Okay. Now guys, I'm going to repeat this four more times when I have six of those loops in total, so I'll be back. If you forgot how I'm doing it, just rewind the video, see the sequence, add it four more times and I'll be back for the last step to tell you what's coming up next. Okay guys, and now I have my last sixth uh, loop of beads here that I'm doing. Okay, and as I'm exiting through one of these orange beads, I'm going through the other one. Okay, now this is what I have. And what I'm going to do next is go in this direction and exit through this orange bead here. You see this one. Now, what I'm going to do is take here my earring finding and I'm going to pick up two chameleon beads, two dark red beads, two dark orange beads, one yellow. Then I'm going to pick up my earring finding here. Slide those down. And I'm going to repeat this sequence but backwards yellow two orange beads, two dark red beads and two chameleon beads. Okay, this is what I have. And as I'm exiting through this orange, I'm going through this one here. You see, just before these two chameleons. And in this way, I'm fixing this to be in the center of my work. Okay, now I will go in this direction and I will start my next row where I'm going to fix my work to stay in a better shape. Okay, and now what I want to do is flip this. You see how it wants to go in this direction, but I will flip it and I'm going 
here in this direction through some beads okay and what I want to do is exit through this first yellow bead after the two whites you see where I'm exiting here I am let me focus you see here I have one yellow two whites and then one one more yellow after the two whites and here is where I'm exiting and now I want to take a dark red an orange and a dark red you see what I have and again I'm flipping and I'm going through this yellow that is just next to the white but from the opposite side okay now as I'm here what I need to take are two chameleon beads and what I do is flip this next loop of beads here and go through the yellow bead that is just after the whites this time I'm going from the center to the outside you see what I have now I'm going to pick up the same sequence a red a dark red an orange and a dark red three beads you see and I'm going in the same place the yellow after the two whites just like this okay then I flip I take two dark beads and I go here in the yellow after the two whites but this time from the center to the outside and now dark red orange dark red okay and I go here okay guys and I'm going to continue this until the end of this row Okay guys, now I have this and what I want to do is go in this direction through all of those beads and I also want to go here through those beads just because I want to reinforce this loop I've been only once through it and I want to reinforce it okay then I want to reach again those loops here that I did okay you see now I want to exit here I'm two beats away from this top white bead you see when I focus and go like this I'm two beads away from this top white bead and what I want to take is just one dark red bead and I'm going here in this orange bead just like this 
you see what I have. Okay, and now what I want to do is take one dark red bead again. And I'm going here two beads away from this white bead at the top. You see where I go. And when I pull and fix this bit to stay in the center, I have this. Now I'm taking three dark beads, okay, like this. And I want to exit here. I want my thread to be two beads away from this white at the top. And from here on, I'm taking one dark bead and I'm going here inside this orange. Just like this. Then I take one more dark red bead and I want to go two yellow beads away from this white bead at the top and pull again. Then again, what I need to take are three dark red beads and I want my thread to be exiting through, through this yellow bead because in this way it's two white beads away from this top white bead. Okay, and now what I want to take is one dark red bead and I'm going here in the center and again I'll show you take one dark red bead go here and then take three dark beads and go here Okay guys, and I'm going to continue three more times. If you forgot how I'm doing it, just rewind the video and see. And then I'll be back to tell you how to finish your work. Okay guys, and here I am where I'm adding my last bead from this row. And I'm adding it here the same way. Two beads away from the white bead. Or through the third yellow bead counting from here. You see, I'm going through this one. Okay, so now, if you want, you could go and reinforce your work. I mean this part where uh, this earring finding is, but I'm not showing this now. I will just show you how to make the final knot and cut your thread. By the way, if your thread was over at some point, it is the same thing adding the thread as cutting the thread. Just make here a loop with your thread and go once and go second time through this loop you've made and then pull. Then you could repeat this knot several more times and when you're ready go through the following seed bead and cut your thread and now your colorful peacock earring is ready okay guys and now my peacock beaded earrings are ready so if you like them and you want to see more and more videos like this it's a good idea to subscribe and also hit the bell button and in this way you will know when i make matching jewelry to the ones that i have already done and you will be able to make beautiful sets for presents or for yourself down there in description you will find the full list of materials link to my store link for paypal donations to develop this channel and link to all my social networks where by the way you are invited to share your beautiful work that you did following my tutorials. You could also check my second channel with the fast clips. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye from